We know you've all been really busy with midterms and papers, but Berkeley hasn't stopped moving. Here's what you missed this week while you were studying in the main stacks library. Governor's debate. No torture at Cal Week. And the Treasure Island Music Festival, to name a few. I'm Alyssa Broxson. And I'm Jake Lafferman. The Berkeley Beat starts now. On Tuesday evening, gubernatorial candidates Meg Whitman and Jerry Brown squared off in the third and final debate before the November 2nd election. In San Rafael, California, in what can be described as a heated debate, the candidates threw swings as well as issues at the other, with Jerry Brown arguing cuts from the top and Whitman pushing for shrinking of government and pension reform. And remember, Cal, today is your last day to register to vote. Have your voice heard in the governor's election. The city of Berkeley has long been known for its progressive stance of anti-torture, to the point of promoting an entire week of anti-torture events. Berkeley Beast's Janet Jun has more on this. I'm currently standing in front of UC Berkeley's Bold School of Law, where protest action is taking place during the week that the city of Berkeley has dedicated to condemning all acts of torture. By officially declaring Berkeley says no to torture week, the city of Berkeley endorsed a whole week of events to end any and all acts of torture. One group called World Can't Wait has organized a protest against the legal work of Bolt Law professor John Yu. Politicians in particular, um, I would say they've bought into the logic of the Bush administration and the logic the same logic as it's been tweaked now under Obama, which is that this is a war against terror and we need to use torture because these people that we're fighting against are so evil that um, they don't deserve human rights. The protest in front of Bolt Hall was a peaceful one. A hooded mock detainee stood with his arms wide open and invoked images of prisoners from Guantanamo Bay. The action lasted for a little more than half an hour before protesters marched toward the Chancellor's office. Many other events, such as public debates, forum discussions, and interviews also took place right on the UC Berkeley campus. At UC Berkeley's Art Museum Theater, for example, historian and artist Peter Sells, Clinton Fain, and Richard Kamler gave a slideshow presentation on various works depicting the horror of torture. Sells, whose immediate family members were killed in a concentration camp during World War II in Nazi Germany, discussed the works of historical artists such as Francisco Goya and Leon Galeb. Though this year marks the first step of its campaign, the magnitude of its presence in the Berkeley community tells us that it will only continue to grow throughout the next coming years. For Berkeley Beat, I'm Janet Jun. Thanks, Janet. And other news this past weekend was the Treasure Island Music Festival on Treasure Island in the San Francisco Bay. This annual event features a selection of electronic, hip-hop, rock, and indie rock artists in a two-day festival. Berkeley students went en masse to hear some of their favorite artists, a relaxing break after midterms. Speaking of midterms, we wanted to see how you guys are coping with the stress of October midterm season. We went out to interview a few Berkeley students to see how their work is getting to them and how they're getting through it. Here's what they had to say. Yeah, last week was pretty busy for me. I had um, OCHEM and uh, Bio and uh, PH116 and then this week I had like a language midterm. How many all-nighters? Like three almost. Cause Midterms were really stressful. I stayed up late studying, didn't really see my friends for a while. I'm not stressed about midterms. Why not? Because I only have one and I've studied the whole time. How many breakdowns have you had? Um, none so far, but ask me in two days. This weekend also saw the end of the main stage performance of Our Town by the Department of Theater, Dance, and Performance Studies. Alyssa and I went to see the show on Friday and we got a few words with the cast. Uh, with the show coming to a close now at its um, last weekend, I really hope that people walk away from it. Um, asking the same questions that they were asked during the show. Definitely one of those productions that you'll remember. So not your, not your average Our Town. I think we'll all remember to take time, I think, just to be. And uh, yeah, it's really, it's sad that it's over, but you know, that moment was so wonderful and I think we'll have it for a very, very long time. You know, Jake, I really enjoy myself. I was really impressed with that performance. As was I, Alyssa. So Cal, even with midterms, remember that Berkeley is our town. Don't forget to experience it. Tune in tomorrow for an In Focus with Pulitzer Prize winning reporter Amy Hartman. See you next week.